Good morning, my dear students. The topic I wish to discuss with you is nomenclature of organic compounds, naming of branched chain alkanes. The carbon chain is branched, branched chain alkanes. Naming of branched chain alkanes. Alkanes from butane onwards, butane, pentane, hexane, all have isomers which have branched carbon chain. So this structural or chain isomerism starts from butane onwards. Alkanes from butane onwards exhibit chain isomerism due to branching of the carbon chain. So we are considering, so when there is branching in the carbon chain, how will you name them in the IUPAC way? There are certain rules for that. IUPAC or International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry suggested certain rules to name branched chain alkanes. The carbon chain in the alkane is branched. It is a saturated acyclic organic compound and the carbon chain has branches. What are the rules? We are so, what are the rules we have to observe when naming branched chain alkanes? There are, there are many rules. We are going to consider it one by one. First rule, consider the longest continuous carbon chain. Longest continuous carbon chain. Consider the longest continuous carbon chain in the organic compound and the word root is derived from that. So the word root is derived from the number of carbon atoms in the longest continuous carbon chain. So from the longest continuous carbon chain we derive the word root. We we count the number of carbon atoms on the longest continuous carbon chain and we derive the word root. Carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain should be numbered like 1, 2, 3, etc. Carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain carbon chain should be numbered, should be given numbers 1, 2, 3, should be numbered. The carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain should be numbered. While numbering the carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain of the branched alkane, you must remember that the numbering of the carbon atoms should be in such a manner the substituents on the carbon chain gets the minimum number possible. Prefix the number and name of the substituent prefix the number and name of the substituent Substituent before word root before word root in alphabetical order. In alphabetical order. That means if methyl and ethyl come as substituents on the parent carbon chain, ethyl should be mentioned first because E has alphabetical priority over M of methyl. So these are the first three rules for naming. More rules are there. Naming branched chain alkanes. Consider the longest continuous carbon chain 
in the branch chain alkane. And from that, you derive the word root. From the number of carbon atoms, you derive the word root. Then the carbon atoms of the longest carbon chain should be numbered such that the branches or substituents present on the carbon chain get the minimum number possible. Third, prefix the number and name of the substituent before the word root in alphabetical order. We are considering an example for this. We are considering. So we have a carbon chain like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Another carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the longest continuous carbon chain. So we have identified the longest continuous carbon chain. What's the next step? Number the carbon atoms of the parent carbon chain such that the substituents get the lowest uh, number possible. We can start numbering from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can also start numbering from here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you start numbering from here, the substituent methyl get position three. If I start numbering from here, the substituent methyl get position four. So we have to Consider the numbering in such a manner that the substituent gets the lowest number. So, this is correct. This is correct. This numbering is wrong. This numbering is wrong. So, this is the numbering for the longest continuous carbon chain. What's the word root for this? Word root. How many carbon atoms are in the longest continuous carbon chain? Six. What's the word root corresponding to that? It is hex. Then, followed by primary suffix. This organic compound contains only single bone. So it's a saturated organic compound. So the primary suffix is N. We have a substituent. So what is the substituent? So there's a secondary prefix. Secondary prefix. It is number and name before the word root. It is 3-methyl. So how will you name this? Prefix, word root, suffix. So the name of this compound is 3-methyl. Three 3-methyl. Three Hex, hexane. That is how you name it. 3-methyl hexane. One more example I'm considering, one more example. You, you follow this? So we have a branched chain alkane. So three rules here studied. First, longest continuous carbon chain should be considered. So we have identified the longest continuous carbon chain. Then you have to number the carbon atoms of the longest continuous carbon chain. In, in such a situation, what you should bear in mind? The substituent gets the lowest number. So here, this is the law. So if you, now, if you start numbering like this, it's 3. Otherwise, it is 4. Isn't it? So the 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, this would be followed. So word root, the longest, then 6 carbon atoms, hex. Primary suffix, saturated, any carbon, carbon, single bond only. Secondary prefix, 3-methyl. So the name of this compound is 3-methyl hexane. Now we are considering more rules for naming branched chain alkenes. The fourth rule is called lowest lock and set rule.